Well, how are we doing out there? I hope you're all absolutely spot on and thank you very much for watching this video. Now, as you can guess, I'm in my car. So I'm gonna take you on a little journey and the plan is to go to the Lake District and that's where the plan ends. <laughs> but I'm gonna try and take you around Bowness um, and some lovely restaurants, um, eateries and a few bars as well and I'll be able to walk around as well, not all going to be in the car. So please come with me on the journey and uh, we'll have a bit of fun. So the sun's out, the guns are out, it's a balmy 12 degrees. <laughs> um, and I've just had the radio on and I've had dance anthems on and I'll tell you what it is now, I've got me in the mood for Friday night. I'm going to go live at 8 o'clock so please feel free to join me this Friday at 8 o'clock if you're not doing anything. Um, tune in and uh, we'll get some beers in um, and we'll have a good time uh, The good ladies, um, she's back on her feet again. It's good news so um, This is the road now. I'm just heading to Bowness uh, So what I'll do I'll bring you back um, when we are in Bowness Isn't that just a sight So this is Bowness and um, this is Lake Windermere, the lovely marina. Look at that gorgeous day to day. So, this is the, the marina bit, <clears throat> and um, Bowness is just up there. Look straight ahead, it's probably center of the shot, and this is the lake. Look. So the plan is, the plan is, is to get in town, show you some lovely restaurants and bars, and maybe go and get a drink and maybe get something to eat. It's like you're on holiday, so I'm gonna have to um, gonna have to go and find somewhere to uh, use the old toilet facilities. <laughs> Hopefully a pub. <laughs> They've got toilets, haven't they? Yes, yeah, good thinking. <laughs> Can always go for a spot of fishing. We do a lot of tours on here as well, uh, lake tours. Um, just back there, you hire a, or you pay for a tour. A lovely, uh, a lovely big lake here. And it's a lovely day. Very rare these sort of days up here. So this is a, a lovely place. Um, it's the village inn. I've uh, been coming here since probably the early 90s, and it's changed so much. Um, they've sort of, it used to be a real like sort of pub, but now they've extended it on the left there, look. Uh, that wasn't part of it, it was just a pub. And they've extended all this out as well. But it's, it does some really good food and drink as well. So it's, uh, I need the toilet and um, <laughs> it's early, the pubs aren't even open yet. But uh, I'm just gonna have a walk around. This street behind me is a good one. There's quite a few bars and uh, restaurants in this, uh, street so I'm gonna I'm gonna make my way up this way this is a cracker this one here I've spent a few uh, a few nights in this one yeah so it's a tapas as well um, and I, I remember sp spending a night in there with my good lady um, and we were propped up the bar all night and we were in a lovely guest house here and we were drinking um, Spanish uh, lager San Miguel, it's a cracker. So it's a cracking uh, fish and chip shop. Vinegar Jones have been coming here for years as well. There's the menu. Look, if you want to have a look, have a look at that and pause that and check out the uh, the prices. Not too bad actually. I thought there'd be more than that. It's not open. So it's fantastic here. Absolutely fantastic. Yeah, it's just gone ten o'clock in the morning and it's still. 
it's getting busier and busier and it's what day is it Thursday so I'm hoping to get in here after the fizzy tart um, it's like a cocktail bar but it's quite trendy um, I've only been in here once it was about five years ago this is all new So this is the um, oh, this is the um, world of Beatrix Potter attraction. If you're ever in Bournemouth, give it a check out. It's all right. I've took my kids here. It's great. So there's another um, fish and chip shop here. This has been open. Well, been going for years. This one been coming here as a as a kid when I used to come up the lakes with me, me mum and dad it's still open probably changed its name a few times so I'm just gonna have a little walk around I'm gonna have a little walk down there now um, just gives you an idea doesn't it a bonus I tell you what I've got, I've got the holiday vibe I really have and I'm just walking around and it's quarter to 11 in the morning I just, I just want to go on holiday now <laughs> what's this a quiet street oh but no there's a good, a good pub down here, the hole, hole in the wall. Do you think there was a doll there at some point? So I remember coming here, oh, when was it? I'd say about 1989. Um, and I just started my apprenticeship in the shipyard. And we came up here for a weekend because we were apprentices. And we ended up going in there and uh, we had, a, I think we had a buffet or something. And then... Um, I had to go home early. <laughs> no, not because I was drunk. I was only 17. Because I had the old uh, tonsillitis. The doctor called it the kissing disease. Another little lovely pub here, the Stag's Head. In summertime, you can't move down here. And there's a big five-star hotel there, the McDonald Old English. It's lovely here in summertime. It's just very busy. <laughs> I'm just uh, sitting here and watching the world go by. If this is, um, if you like this sort of thing, give it a thumbs up. And maybe consider subscribing. That does help. It's lovely. I just want to feel like I'm on holiday. It's lovely up here, Bowness. Oh, I'm getting a, a bit thirsty. So I'm just sat outside the Albert. Um, it's midday and I'm thirsty. I'm here for the day, so why not? Well, that hit the spot. Mmm, fish and chips or the Cornish Bakery, what's it to be? Well, I went into the, um, the baker's shop um, and I got this Cornish pasty and it was four pounds. And I said to the guy in there, I said, um, did you bake these on site? And he said, no. He said, these are actually baked in Cornwall and curried up here into this shop so I was like wow and he said he said they are really good so this is it this is what you get there we go that is that it's it's, it's only small this is a medium and then they do a large one as well and a small one and the small one is Diddy <laughs> so I'm gonna get into it now it's still warm as well Mm. 
That is lovely. I picked a bad spot. I'm getting attacked. <laughs> no wonder no one sits here. I'm gonna move on. It's good, like. It really is tasty. Look at that. It's, it's sort of difficult when you're on your own. I mean, I'm on my own anyway, but because I'm out of the confines of my um, safe area, my kitchen, <laughs> it's so difficult filming. This is going to give me some jib later, I can tell. I just know that pastry is going to crease me up. So I'm going to get my money's worth out of this one. I'll be getting it all later on as well. So I'll end my little jolly round here now. Um, I'll tell you what, that... I can taste that pie, it's coming back already, you get me money's worth out of that one. <laughs> it's lovely though, I'll be honest, it's been fantastic. I'm going to spend a few more hours here, have a little walk around and take in the sights. And you can see Lake Windermere behind me, it's getting busy, it's just gone midday now and I just, uh, I wish I was up here for a few days, I really do. So, thank you very much for watching, if you've got this far, doff me cap. It's just a little insight. Uh, the next one I'll do is probably Ambleside um, and we'll just go from there. Nothing set in stone. So I hope you join in on uh, Friday night, 8 o'clock. Come and join me. We'll have a good time in the Staying In Inn. <laughs> Brilliant name that. Thank you very much out there uh, for naming it that pub. So I'll take care, all the best, and I'll catch you on the next one.